people say I'm crazy. Stan Nicholas was a born performer. Doing what I'm doing. The Burnt River Band. A founder of the Cleveland-based Burnt River Band, he spent decades on stage. But it all came to a halt one evening in 2017. He was 66 years old. I lost my balance and I fell to the floor. Every time I got halfway up, my knees would buckle and I'd fall down again. 14 hours later, a friend walked into his home and found him on the floor. I was taken to a university hospital in downtown Cleveland where I woke up with a doctor standing over me. I asked the doctor if I had died. The doctor said you had a bad stroke. This is what Stan's brain looked like a few days later. All that dark part on the left, that's the part of Stan's brain that died because it hadn't received enough blood. So I couldn't walk when I woke up. I couldn't move my left arm or my left hand. I thought that I was going to be disabled for life. I've had a lot of therapy. Within a few months, all that Stan was able to do was take a few steps. And then he simply plateaued. When you first saw him, what was the expectation for his recovery? The expectation was poor. Uh, he was more than a year out from his stroke. He had already undergone physical therapy, occupational therapy, and despite the early improvements, he was stable. He wasn't improving anymore. That's why Dr. Andre Machado, a neurosurgeon at the Cleveland Clinic, offered something to Stan that was a first in humans, a deep brain stimulator. That's what you see there. Now, you may have heard of these for Parkinson's disease, but this was being placed specifically to help Stan recover from his stroke. Stan had weakness, but was able to walk with his left leg, but it was really his, his arm, he was unable to close and open his hand and lifting his arm, he was having difficulties. He uh, had enormous difficulties using his hand for any useful activity of daily living on the, on the left side. So in September of 2020, three years after his stroke, Stan underwent an eight hour long operation where this 1.3 millimeter probe, which is as wide as a grain of sand, was placed into the cerebellum of his brain. He had physical therapy, stimulator placed, how soon after did you start to see any changes? Within the first month. I can lift my left arm, which I couldn't do. Look at this. This can transition from being hope, which it is today, to perhaps a treatment that will be a standard treatment in the future. For Stan, it now means being able to live independently. It's helped me out with my cooking, preparing my meals and, and eating and things around the house, yard work and household chores. And hopefully one day, he'll be able to play again. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.